Hello everyone out there in the magical land of YouTube and Spook City. It's me, Spookalai here, and I am here today to bring you episode 3 of our playthrough of Bug Fables, The Everlasting Sapling. So, in the last episode, everyone, we... It was actually a pretty short episode. We got into Snake Mouth Den, uh, ran across a fun spidery friend... And now we have a new friend with us, a moth, and I forgot what his name is, so we'll just call him Mothman for now. So with Mothman in tow, we continue forward. What a weird tablet. It's written in an even weirder language. Hmm, seems to be ancient script. Hmm, these letters look familiar to us. We shall be able to decipher it. Let us check it again. You can switch your party order during battle using the strategy flower. Whoever is in the front receives a bonus to attack power. In return, said person is targeted more often by enemies. You can't switch if someone has exhausted all their turns. How convenient. Oh god, I just kept switching. What do we have here? A zombie ant. That ant is possessed! No way! That's just a story the queen tells kids to scare them. This is too creepy. I'm gonna take it out. Huh, I like that they're doing this. There's actually a really cool um, thing that's real. Like, these are, there are fungus that take over an ant's nervous system and just kinda force it to do whatever the fungus wants which usually is go up somewhere high well no it's not just fungus there's also bacteria but the fun uh but the fungus tend to be the leading cause what is it called coleocelliophysis i think no that might that's something else hmm uh oh he died well, nothing can be done about this. Oh god, another one. Who put all these weird zombie boys here? It's just silly. Ooh, I super missed that. Oof. Oh well. So honestly, this is- uh Rank up! Yeah! Ooh, pick a stat boost for the new rank. The teams get the team gets plus one HP for each member, letting you survive longer. Team gets plus three to that. Team gets plus three metal points, letting you equip more metal. I don't even know what a metal is, but sure. I'll do. I'll do HP because we honestly don't. I haven't honestly used. Secret stash? What is secret stash? Yay. Like, we haven't really had a need to, um, to do that. Let me see. Metal and stats. Library. Huh. I'm trying to see how. I, you know what? I can find out in a minute. Wait. I gotta pick up that money. Damn it. That was not what I meant to do. All right, so let's see. Skills, secret stash. V heals four HP to an ally while curing poison with an item from her secret stash. This does not consume normal items. Uh, so it's a, um, it's a, uh, it's a heal. So V is our healer, that's kind of cool. I mean, I kind of figured she seems like the noisy cleric type. So that, that makes sense, but still. Still really cool. Beautiful. The chef's keys. Oh, that's actually really good. What's in here? What is that? Oh, it's another crystal berry. 
Pressing B in a battle allows you to change who is currently active without changing the party order. Each party member has different ways of attacking and different reaches for their attacks and skills. Mind who is currently acting to not waste actions or on the wrong enemy. Okay. This is actually a very pretty game. Like I can't, I, I can't not praise this game enough because of how cute it looks. Oh no, I've been attacked. The shenanigans are real. I wonder if we get like items that would work that make better uh, offensive and defensive decisions. Because it seems like we'll get new skills as we rank up, which is kind of neat. What do we have here? Being an enemy outside of battle will stun it for a short amount of time. Entering battle while an enemy is stunned grants one more action to the party leader. Oh, that's cool. Can you hit that? What does it do? Oh, that's convenient. So far, the only thing I gotta say that hasn't really pulled me in is... Hold on, can I... Distance... Oh shit. Damn it, I wasn't fast enough. Uh-oh. This is not good. You know what? This might be a time to use Tornado Dash. Not Tornado Dash, whatever this is called. No, not Taunt. Hmm. The only thing I gotta say is kinda lacking right now is while the, design, the bug designs are kinda nice, they do feel like they're kinda like... They could, they could use a little oomphing. Like... These design like right now the bugs I'm looking at do not feel like the main char like main characters. Oh! Wow. You found an HP plus medal. You got a medal. These artifacts help you by giving you different effects. To equip a medal, go to your pause menu and select medal and stats. Once you can equip medals, different party members, you can level one. Medals cost MP to equip. Be sure to check how much you have left. So is MP shared? MP is shared. It is. Wow. Interesting. So you can decide who gets it. Well, I'm gonna give it to V because she's got. She's frailer, so it would be smarter. Uh oh. Shenanigans. I could feel it. What the fuck is that? Nice work, everyone. Leaf! Watch out! Oh, that's his name. What? What the heck? By the great ancestors. What kind of sorcery is that? We are, uh... Unsure? This is new. Mmm, coffee. You seriously expect us to believe that? We mean, uh, it's the truth. Magic's no common feat. These are less than 10 known sorcerers in history. You're not just, you're not some criminal with a huge bounty, are you? You seriously believe that? We will talk later. I take it you can fight now? We'll try. Wait, everyone. Now that we're a trio, let's share a useful technique. With turn relay, picked from the colorful flower, one of us can lend our turn to another. How is that useful? It sounds tedious. Well, for example, you can let V attack twice to knock down flying enemies. Heh! <laughs> you should let me attack three times. I'll take them all on. Uh, he shouldn't abuse it like that, though. The exhaustion will reduce your attack power by one every time you act in a round. Well, it sounds mildly useful. We'll try it out. Now on your guard! 
do I do it? Do I just... Turn relay? Oh, okay, I get it. I gotta turn relay into V. And then... V can hit twice. Jelly shrooms. Smack. That's fine. We only need you to do your thing, V. Press the button shown at the end of the countdown. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's not good. Um, okay. Oh wait, I should I should be spying one of these guys so I can see what the hell they are. Mushrooms get crazier by the day. Although some of our skills could finish it off quickly, V help save us some TP. Oh, is that enough? Uh oh, he's he's starting to look a little oofed. Man, poor Kabu, he's just getting his shit pushed. Goodness, that magic isn't a joke. It's pretty cool. If you truly couldn't do it before, then this din is hiding more secrets than I first thought. Everything's just too suspicious. I don't believe Leaf yet. We are telling the truth. If we had ice magic, that accursed spider wouldn't have caught us. I say, let's focus on getting out of life. We can collect our thoughts when we're safe. Very well, if you need us to freeze anything, press B while we are leading. I guess it's fine for now. Onward! I can almost smell the treasure! Hmm. Nothing. Nothing. You know what? We could really use this sit down for a second. Hold on. Let me open up our inventory. We have a few of these crunchy leaves, so let's give one to you. Oh, do I not have any more? Oh. There. Topped off. Frozen enemies can't be stunned, but can be climbed on or used to hold switches. Can they now? Sorry, V. I couldn't help it. It seems like the ceiling's dripping. Okay, why is there so much water in here? Under us, above us, it doesn't make sense. Hmm. This is good, though. What do you mean? If it's water... Then it can be frozen. Oh, impressive. If you can do that, it opens a lot of options for us. I bet I can push them with my horn as well. That's pretty cool, Leaf. Mm. Enemies, the water around us. Even though they seem like obstacles, we can exploit them for our own benefit. Let's give your ice magic a try on all we can find. I was about to say, how far away is it? What's it say? Hmm, the craftsman on this statue is pretty good compared to everything else, at least. That it is! A shame this monument outlived its creators. Yeah, you only hear about roaches and folk tales nowadays. Pardon? When did the roaches disappear? A bit before I was born, I think. So, pretty recently. Hey! It was indeed quite a recent event. No one knows for sure the how or why, however. Hmm, this is depressing talk. We should really find a way out. This can't be right. Huh. Haha, <laughs> gif get wrecked, nerd. Oh god, it doesn't last very long. Parkour, parkour. 
Oh, that's di that's tricky. It's too bad V can't. How the hell? Oh wait, am I supposed to lead him over here? Maybe. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't go farther than that. Wait, what's in here? Oh. An item? No, just a berry. Oops. Oh, I'm stupid. I, I see what I gotta do. Dang it, I want whatever that is. Oh, they last for a good while. Oh, it's a honey trap. Okay, so it looks like we got our, our DPS, our healer, and our magic caster. I would kind of hope for more than one, but... Ding ding. What's this? When at a loss on what to do, select button can give you the hint you've been looking for. This room is gigantic. Indeed, it's hard to know where to go. Hmm, when in doubt, go left. No way, right is right. Uh, given the way this cave has been laid out, I believe we will go both ways. Ah, oh, what a drag. No joke! Let's rest up and then explore some more! Alright, let's go left first, I guess. It's hard to do this with people in the way. That's some pretty cool ice mechanics. Oh, it's a, it's a surprise critter! Oh gosh! Damn it, I couldn't throw it fast enough. All right. B knocked this fool out of the out of the sky. Kabu smack it in the face. And then Leaf, uh, hit that one behind us. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Oh, that's not good. Okay, now they're both in the air. Take one down, pass it around. Now there's only one shroom. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say now there's only one shroom left on the wall, but I guess not. What's your skills? Ice ball. Oh, it hits all enemies. Bruh! That was strong as hell! Leaf, what the fuck, man? You hot you holding out on me. You holding out on me, buddy. What's back here? Plunk. Hmm. Geysers can be frozen. Frozen geysers can be used as platforms, but they thaw out after a while. By giving it a heavy strike, one can break them faster. Geysers can also carry around lightweight objects to the top of them. Can they now? Leaf. Freeze. 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 Hmm. Kabu, help me out here, would you? What? Okay. So you gotta freeze it. Like, I can't jump up on it. Unless, uh. 
Frozen enemies cannot act, and they take increased damage when hit in a battle. However, hitting an enemy while it's frozen will thaw it out immediately. Okay. Weird. You fool. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Uh, yeah, let's ice fall. Oh, wow, ice fall doesn't even, didn't even hit it. That's dumb. Ice fall doesn't even matter to these things because of their fucking defense. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I could turn relay. Turn relay to Kabu. And then have him attack twice. God damn it. Why am I. I, I keep doing that way too early. I feel like that should do damage. I feel like that's the same situation as like, hey, here's the, um, hey, here's a, um, enemy that can't be hurt from the top, but has a soft underbelly. I feel like I should be able to hit its soft underbelly. What'd this do? Okay. By blocking with precise timing, it is possible to further reduce damage received from an enemy. If you block exactly when the enemy hits, an audio cue and different messages will show up to confirm you have done successfully. That is what's called a super block. Excuse me, I am so sorry about that. Bye V, it was nice knowing you. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Thank God these guys auto follow because... Hello? Damn. Hmm. Okay. I know what to do. At least they were reasonable about it. I was very worried they were gonna be like, they were gonna be like, hey, it could be any button from A to, it could be A, B, X, Y, left, right, up, down, down, A, B, A, B, select and start. Uh, okay, they fucking, okay. I see how you is, video game. Okay, Christ. So I was wrong. It can be X, Y, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Find out what it means to me. Okay. Hmm. I know one thing. That's not who I meant to give that to. You know what? I should use some T I should use a TP thingy. Cause we don't have much in terms of uh I should be using my items a lot more, I guess. How do I Oh that's cute. How am I supposed to get up there? I guess like this, and then we take this, and then we do this. Haha! -ha. What does this do? Smack. Bah. Is everyone all right? Did we cause the tremor? I guess. It's a pretty big switch. Hmm. We must have made progress in the un unlocking the door. Let's keep going. 
I keep swapping all their voices around. It's really hard. The only one I know for a fact is V has a high pitched voice. I kind of want. Uh, hello. Random crystal berry. I didn't see on my way out. My way in. Don't mind if I do. Uh, yep. It unlocked one side, so we gotta go on the other side now. Dang it. It's so hard to land these stun attacks, I'm not gonna lie. And these guys have a ton of HP. Ah, damn it. Now they're just fucking with me. Oof. God, I am missing all of my goddamn things, and I don't know why. Uh, let's see how long we've been going. Okay. Okay, we'll do it. Actually... Poison Defender Metal. Tell you what, I think we're gonna stop here for episode 4, because I feel like it would be smarter... Because let's be honest here, there's a whole other section to go, and I don't think we'll have enough time for that. So, real quick, thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please make sure to do all that stuff that YouTubers say to do. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell, like, give your parents credit card, whatever you want to do. I'm just kidding. No, don't do that last thing. But still, yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Same old, same old. So, thank you all so much for joining me. I'll see you all in the next amazing video. And remember to stay safe and stay spooky.